okay guys now let's solve a question a little bit complicated in certain extent so let's solve this now it says that cost price of 20 articles is the same as the selling price of x articles and here lies the most important point the cost price of 20 articles is the same as the selling price of x number of article we don't know what is the number of uh, what is the selling price what is the cost price so they neither told us cost price none told us selling price so everything is blank for us so here comes the important so let's assume that the cost price here cost price of one article is one unit any unit any any unit like rupees dollar whatever any unit okay so just find it like that cost price of one article is one unit right so here it says that uh, x article uh, is there right so the cost price for sorry, the cost price for x article obviously will be 1 into x equals to x unit right so the cost price of x articles is x unit right and and it's telling that the selling price is similar like the 20 so what is the cost price for x article it's x unit right and so what is the selling price now now can you tell me what is the selling price try to read this part as as much as you can that the cost price of 20 article that is x is the same as the selling price of that number of article so the selling price of x number of articles will be rupees 20 because there are 20 articles there are 20 articles so if we suppose if we if we hold that uh, the article is one unit each so it will be 20 rupees or it will be 20 units right so the selling price is selling price of obviously of of x articles here is 20 unit or 20 well, say let's write rupees 20 okay so the cost price is x selling price is 20 rupees x rupees 20 so what is going to be profit here or gain here so gain here obviously selling price minus cost price here it comes selling price is 20 cost price is x so 20 minus x is going to be the net gain or net profit here right that's so most important point is this particular first line for this problem right now it is telling if the profit percentage is 25 percent now we know we profit percent or gain percent are the same thing so we, we know the profit here so you need to find the profit percent or the gain percent so here let's say gain percent or profit percent same thing here is equals to let me write what we know we know how to calculate this we know in, to calculate that we put gain divided by cost price into 100 right so here comes the gain gain is here this one 20 minus x so 20 minus x will be the gain by the cost price that is x into it will be 100 right so we are sticking to the formula no big job no rocket science we are just sticking to the formula here so it is the gain person and in the in the question it is provided the gain percent is 25 percent so it is providing us some value here comes the equation now we put that value so the gaining percent 20 minus x here divided by x into 100 equals to 25 percent means 20 divided by 100 right actually sorry I made a mistake here because it's 20 percent and this is the gaining percent of formula right? so this is the gaining percent so we, we should not put a hundred here because 25 percent is the gaining percent and this is also the gaining percent so it will be equals to 25 only not 25 divided by 100 so please uh, do care of this problem because here comes a mistake from all the students most of the time and I have made this uh, time ago that you you see this is 25 percent so you put 20 divided by sorry 20 divided by 100 here but it's not the actual case because this is not right right because itself this value this whole figure corresponds to the gain percent and the gain percent is 25 right 
because that value is also in percent so it will be equal to 25 so once you are here what you need to calculate here you need to calculate that 25 x equals to here 100 into 20 so it will be so if we cross it so 100 into 20 means 2000 minus 100 x now you just transfer it in that side 125 x equals to 2000 then x equals to 2000 by 125 and now you just just simplify this so let's see let, let's simplify it with uh, 25 so it, it will be 5 right and here it will be uh, 80 it will be 16 so answer here is 16 so let's find where it is 16 yes it is the so group B so the answer B will be the correct answer for this problem okay so remind you the take home message for this problem it's a little bit trickier but the take home message here is the cost price of 20 articles is the same as the selling price of X article that means obviously there is a gain obviously a profit because you're buying many things in a price but selling the price of more right because you are buying 20 articles which is the cost price if it's a one so 20 rupees is the whole price but your your selling price of x article is the same so x article is only one here right so it's it's, it's gain right so just believe it and you get that value as a selling price so getting selling price which is equals to 20 rupees here this is the most critical part of this problem so once you go through this part it will be very very easier for you try to uh, if you don't understand it try, try to re replay it replay it and you can be able to understand that's kind of it and i hope that's helpful guys thank you